Hey guys, welcome to the Tone Show. My name is Anthony Tone Show Nunez, and today I'm answering the question, are the 90s back and why? Let's talk about it. Put down that trapper keeper. That's right, it's time to talk about the news that multiple 90s animated properties will be returning to the big and small screen alike. Let's start off with the four heroes in the half shell. That's right, according to Deadline, Nickelodeon is once again rebooting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for another theatrical release. This time it's being produced by Seth Rogen's Point Grey Pictures. Jeff Rowe will be directing, who's known for directing Gravity Falls. He'll be helming this one with Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and James Weaver producing. And this one's gonna be a CGI film, a departure from the live action movies we saw last with Michael Bay. But the retro 90s fun does not stop there. We also got news that Beavis and Butthead will be returning for two seasons to Comedy Central. And Beavis and Butthead creator Mike Judge will not just be involved in the series, he'll actually be voicing Beavis and Butthead this time. The new take on the series is aimed at appealing to Generation Z's audience. This will be interesting because Beavis and Butthead are classic Generation X characters and to have them retooled to appeal to a new generation, uh, specifically a generation that's the, the children of the generation prior because Zoomers are mostly the children of Generation X. This will be quite interesting to see how they respond, new fans and old fans alike. Comedy Central is no stranger to classic MTV 90s animated characters as they will also be premiering Jody, which will star Tracy Ellis Ross, voicing the title character, Jody, which some of you might remember appears as a classmate of Daria who attended Lawndale High on the classic 90s show. Jody, like the new Beavis and Butthead show, will attempt to tackle themes that are central to Generation Z. So this show is another example of a Generation X show that's being repackaged and reintroduced to a new generation. Also, this series is a spin-off of a spin-off because Jody spin-off of Daria, which in turn was a spin-off of Beavis and Butthead. To recap, all these 90s retro goodness is being brought to you by Viacom CBS, who owns Nickelodeon, MTV, and Comedy Central. So they're delivering Ninja Turtles, Beavis and Butthead, and Jody all for your 90s feel-good vibe. But that's not all. We got more 90s news because Wacko, Yakko, and Da will be returning for two new seasons on Hulu. That's that's right, the Animaniacs being voiced by the original cast will be premiering new episodes on Hulu. And it gets better because everyone's favorite pair of mice who love to take over the world will be returning as well. That's right, Pinky and the Brain will also be featuring these new Hulu episodes. Why all these 90s shows? Why all the retro shows, Tone Show? Well, the answer is very simple. Nostalgia! Obviously, as we learn from the success of 80s retro show like Stranger Things, it's only natural that as a generation grows up, and specifically this one who grew up with Beavis and Butthead and the Ninja Turtles, now they're head of households with buying power of their own, and their interest for 90s retro content which reminds them of their youth is increasing every day, and the profits will go to companies that cater to that nostalgic itch. So I just covered just a few of these animated shows that'll be returning, but don't be shocked if you see more of your Gen X childhood shows returning, because the 90s are back. <music> Guys, this is The Tone Show. Make sure to hit that like button and leave me with a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you excited to see all your 90s show come back? Or you think it's a little bit too much? Put it in the comments. As always guys, this is The Tone Show. Tone Show, ah.